Hi guys and welcome back. Today I want to have a look to the numbers of DeFi in order to understand what is the current state of art, what are the projects that are moving and performing at best, and most of all, according to these numbers, what we can expect in terms of the price. So let's have a look together. Let me say in advance that this channel is just about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always your own research before. And guys, if you enjoy this content, remember to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to check all our links into the description section below because it is there where you can find our week newsletter, Twitter, and all the latest updates that we share on different other channels. Okay, let's start immediately. And I wanna start from Token Terminal because Token Terminal is probably one of the most useful tools if you wanna understand the revenues that are generated by each protocol. And the metric revenue, it is the most important for the simple reason that remember guys, if a protocol, if a DeFi project is not producing revenues, there is no way that the price can go up because the price is the representation of the value of the protocol. The token itself, it doesn't have any kind of value. The value is going up according to what kind of use cases. It is just a governance token. Okay, governance token, it is just like uh, having the power to participate to some kind of conversation and to vote for something. But one story is for to vote for something that is managing just uh, a couple of dollars. Another story, it is voting for something that is moving billions. On the other side, one story is having a token that is giving you revenue shares if the revenues are billions. Another story is there are just pennies. That's the reason why it's so important, guys. Don't undervaluate because most of the time I'm seeing people that are just jumping into a, a project just because it is hyped. But try to understand what is the real value of a project. And for this reason, it's so important to check this kind of metrics. I want to start with this chart that is showing quite clearly how, as you can see, starting from here that it was just around May, the level of the uh, transactions of the revenues generated by the different kind of uh, protocols has simply dumped dramatically. And even right now that we are seeing this kind of uh, small rally, as you can see from here, starting from the bottom, it was around uh, the middle of uh, June, the level of revenues didn't pump so much. We are still much far away from the level that we have seen uh, previously. As you can see, even if we try to uh, take out uh, OpenSea, you will still see how small is the amount of revenues that we are generating right now. Another thing that I want to invite you to check, guys, is really important here. For example, this chart is showing us in the last 180 days which has been a, the project able to generate more revenues. Obviously, the first one is Ethereum, after that there is OpenSea, and after that there is Uniswap. About Uniswap, remember that these revenues are all included, so we are talking about gross revenues, not the amount that is received by the token holders. So this is another thing that is really important. Remember that this number should go under another further uh, valuation, trying to understand if these revenues are going to the token holders or people that, for example, are uh, supplying the liquidity into the protocol. Because for example, here, yes, Uniswap, is the biggest one when we talk about uh, revenues in terms of DeFi, but all the revenues will go to uh, liquidity providers. So people that are just retaining the token will not receive this kind of revenues. On the other side, maybe projects that are generating less revenues are on the other side receiving a bigger part, a bigger share of the revenues generated by the uh, protocol. So this is a way to evaluate uh, the metric about a single protocol. There is also another metric that you can use in order to understand if a project is undervaluated or overvaluated is just selecting the project that you are interested uh, of, for example, Aave, just click on it, and it will open this interface. Here, you will find different kind of labels that will give you the opportunity to understand different kind of metrics. One that is really important is this one. This is the um, ratio between 
the fully diluted market cap and the annualized total revenues. So as you can understand, higher is this ratio. Also, it means that higher it is overvaluated this project. For example, in the case of Aave, you will see that this metric were at 17.45 on April has gone down. It means that in that moment, the project were going much under valuation. So the valuation was going down, maybe too much compared to how the revenues were uh, going on. And after that, after the last pump, they have uh, gone up again. You can try also to expand the period in order to understand how this number were going according to the last year, for example. You will see that uh, around one year ago, the project were much more overvaluated compared to where we are right now. So pay attention to it and always try to use these numbers because remember guys, yes, short term, the price, could be completely irrational, can go up and down following just the hype. But uh, during the long period, uh, numbers matter. So it is really important to understand if a project is producing real revenues, who are people that are benefiting this kind of revenues, so our shareholders, so people that are holding the tokens or people that are just uh, doing some kind of action into the protocol, like providing liquidity. Going on, because there are another couple of metrics that I want to share with you. This is coming from the block, and as you can see, it's showing us how the uh, web traffic, so how people are looking for uh, things that are related to the crypto space. And as you can see, most of the protocols are not so uh, underhyped right now because the uh, volume of researches has gone down, even if we are still much higher than what we were just two years ago. So it means that the overall market, the level of awareness among normal people, it is still quite high. It could be for two reasons. First of all, because the worst part of the bear market has still to come because still too many people are looking for Bitcoin and cryptos. Or on the other side, it simply means that more people are become aware about how cryptos, Bitcoin and so on are working and are here to stay. Another thing that is quite interesting to notice is down here, the volume related to web free, because obviously one story is just about ETH, Bitcoin and so on. Another story is web free. Web free is the whole industry. So that's quite interesting seeing that people are starting to look at trying to understand what is web free, because that's the first step for a bigger growth into the next future, because the more people are understanding that web free, it is something important, more money will flow into the industry and also the prices of the different projects will uh, go up. Going on, because there are another couple of things that I want to share with you is if you try to check on DeFi Llama, you will see that after a big dump, that occurred here in May, we touched uh, a bottom around 56 billion of total value locked, something like that. Right now we are at 65. It is quite interesting to see how the growth has been in terms of TVL just around 20%. And that's interesting because if you try to check here the chart of uh, the whole market, the total market cap of the industry, crypto industry, you will see that from the bottom, the price has gone up. So the whole capitalization has gone up by 43%. What does it mean? Quite simple. That while the market has gone up by 43%, so quite a lot, in the same time, the TVL hasn't gone up so much because what you can expect is that the TVL of DeFi should go up according to what is happening to the uh, total market cap because obviously we are just measuring it as dollar. And inside the protocols, there are tokens. So if the price of the token is going up, also the TVL should go up. If it is not happening, could be for two main reasons. First of all, there are too many stable coins. So the percentage of the total market cap of the stable coins inside the TVL of the DeFi is quite higher than what we are seeing usually into the uh, 
crypto industry in general. That's a possibility. But if it is true, it is true also that the share of stablecoin inside DeFi is so high because people are still not trusting DeFi and they prefer to stay safe and just using DeFi with stable coins and not with volatile assets that are increasing the level of risk. Or on the other side, DeFi is in a bear market is much worse than what we have seen into the general market. And yes, that's something that is absolutely possible, mostly related to what happened to Terra because many people literally uh, lost so much money into that kind of situation. And right now they are not so craving to come back and it will require much more time. Even if during this time, during the last couple of months, the uh, fundamentals of DeFi has gone much higher. And that's something that is quite good because seeing that the TVL, the market cap is not going higher. It is staying quite steady or even going down while the fundamentals are going up. That could be also a good opportunity because it means that projects are having the opportunity to work with much more time without having to rush anything. And that's something that is quite positive. On the other side, pay attention that having this kind of a so big bear market into the DeFi space, it also means that many projects unfortunately will die because as we have said many times, in many projects are just bootstrapping. They are using their own tokens to uh, sustain, to fund the uh, development. If the token is going down, also it means that the funding uh, available for these projects is going down and many of them will not be able to survive. Another thing that is quite interesting to notice is how here the uh, Tron ecosystem has been one of the few that has been able to grow so much. As you can see this here, it is the uh, brown color. Right now, the not EVM uh, blockchains, the TVL, it is controlled by half by Tron. And when we are talking about non EVM, we are talking about Solana, we are talking about Near and many other. Here you can find also the whole uh, list among them. And the main reason why Tron has been able to pump so much is mainly related to USD, that is the uh, stable coin that has been launched by uh, Justin Sun and the Tron Foundation that is still offering quite a high APY. As you can see here, the numbers are quite impressive. As I said many times, I have nothing against them. As you can see right now, the total supply has been quite steady. It means that they are not printing much more uh, stable coins during this uh, uh, last period, and that's quite positive. On the other side, personally, I rather prefer to see projects, blockchains, ecosystems that are really able to create value, not just inflating, not just distributing rewards. So nothing against Tron, nothing against the USDD. That could be a legit opportunity. Pay attention that obviously it is a pseudo algo, even if right now it is over collateralized. Pay attention that there, there, there could be some kind of risk. And so remember, nothing is free of risk, especially if the kind of rewards are so high. So pay attention. So just to try to summarize what we have said, overall speaking, the revenues of DeFi are going down. The TVL of the DeFi is going even worse because it is suffering much more than the whole crypto space. On the other side, all the different ecosystems are suffering. The only one that has been able to move slightly better is Tron. How the market will evolve? As always, it really depends how long it will last this per market because yes, fundamentals are improving, that's great, but the point is that the longer this bear market will last, also the more the project will suffer and the more of them will die. Pay attention to that because as you have seen also from this kind of numbers, even if the market has gone through this rally quite positive because uh, yes, uh, the market has gone up by 43%, but if we think about uh, Ethereum, for example, it has gone up by 120% much higher than just the uh, overall market cap. But even so, DeFi hasn't been able to react to create value, to increase the total value locked 
Why? Because people are still scared and probably with some good reasons because we have seen many scams, many attacks, many hacks into the different kind of protocols. So we need more security and we need stronger fundamentals. On the other side, as I said to you, yes, it's also a good opportunity to improve and to create a better ecosystem. Guys, let me know what you think about this topic. If the DeFi will be able to pump again and when, when we will have the next big DeFi summer. Maybe it will be like during the winter. Who knows? We will discover it. Let me know it into the comment section below. And don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and obviously drop a comment. Guys, thank you for following me and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye, guys.